article, De Moi's Formula, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. In mathematics, De Moi's Formula, also known as De Moi's Theorem and De Moi's Identity, states that for any real number x and integer n, it holds that cosine of x plus i sine of x, quantity raised to the nth power, equals cosine of nx plus i sine of nx, where i is the imaginary unit. i squared equals minus 1. The formula is named after Abraham de Moi, although he never stated it in his works. The expression cosine of x plus i sine of x is sometimes abbreviated to cis of x. The formula is important because it connects complex numbers and trigonometry. By expanding the left-hand side and then comparing the real and imaginary parts under the assumption that x is real, it is possible to derive useful expressions for cosine of nx and sine of nx in terms of cosine of x and sine of x. As written, the formula is not valid for non-integer powers n. However, there are generalizations of this formula valid for other exponents. These can be used to give explicit expressions for the nth roots of unity, that is, complex numbers z such that z to the n is equal to 1. Contents. This article has eight sections. They are Section 1. Example. Section 2, Relation to Euler's Formula. Section 3, Proof by Induction. Section 4, Formulate for Cosine and Sine Individually. Section 5, Failure for Non-Integer Powers and Generalization. Section 5.1, Roots of Complex Numbers. Section 6, Analogs in Other Settings. Section 6.1, Hyperbolic Trigonometry. Section 6.2, Extension to Complex Numbers. Section 6.3, Quaternions. Section 6.3.1, Example. Section 6.4, 2 by 2 Matrices. Section 7, References. Section 8, External Links. Section 1, Example. For x equals 30 degrees and n equals 2, de Moi's formula asserts that cosine of 30 degrees plus i times sine of 30 degrees quantity squared equals cosine of 2 times 30 degrees plus i times sine of 2 times 30 degrees. Or equivalently that square root of 3 over 2 plus i over 2 quantity squared equals 1 half plus i times the square root of 3 over 2. In this example, it is easy to check the validity of this equation by multiplying out the left side. Section 2. Relation to Euler's Formula De Moi's formula is a precursor to Euler's formula. e to the i x equals cosine of x plus i sine of x, which establishes the fundamental relationship between the trigonometric functions and the complex exponential function. One can derive de Moi's formula using Euler's formula and the exponential law for integer powers. e to the i x quantity raised to the nth power is equal to e to the i n x, since Euler's formula implies that the left side is equal to cosine of x plus i sine of x quantity raised to the nth power, while the right side is equal to e to the i n x equals cosine of n x plus i sine of n x. Section 3. Proof by Induction The truth of de Moi's theorem can be established by using mathematical induction for natural numbers and extended to all integers from there. For an integer n, call the following statement s of n. Cosine of x plus i sine of x quantity raised to the nth power equals cosine of nx plus i sine of nx. For n greater than 0, we proceed by mathematical induction. s of 1 is clearly true. For our hypothesis, we assume s of k is true for some natural k. That is, we assume cosine of x plus i sine of x quantity raised to the kth power 
is equal to cosine of kx plus i sine of kx. Now, considering s of k plus 1, cosine of x plus i sine of x, quantity raised to the k plus 1 if power, is equal to cosine of x plus i sine of x, quantity raised to the k if power, times cosine of x plus i sine of x, which equals cosine of kx plus i sine of kx, times cosine of x plus i sine of x, by the induction hypothesis, which equals cosine of kx times cosine of x, minus sine of kx times sine of x, plus i times the quantity cosine of kx times sine of x, plus sine of kx times cosine of x, which equals cosine of k plus 1 quantity times x, plus i times sine of k plus 1 times quantity x, by the trigonometric identities. See angle sum and difference identities. We deduce that s of k implies s of k plus 1. By the principle of mathematical induction, it follows that the result is true for all natural numbers. Now, s of 0 is clearly true, since cosine of 0x plus i times sine of 0x is equal to 1 plus 0 times i, which equals 1. Finally, for the negative integer cases, we consider an exponent of minus n for natural n. Cosine of x plus i sine of x, quantity raised to the minus n, is equal to quantity cosine of x plus i sine of x, quantity raised to the nth power, quantity raised to the minus 1, which equals cosine of nx plus i sine of nx, quantity raised to the minus 1, which equals cosine of minus nx plus i sine of minus nx, star. The equation star is a result of the identity z inverse equals complex conjugate of z over modulus of z squared, where z equals cosine of nx plus i sine of nx. Hence, s of n holds for all integers n. Section 4. Formulate for cosine and sine individually. For an equality of complex numbers, one necessarily has equality both of the real parts and of the imaginary parts of both members of the equation. If x, and therefore also cosine of x and sine of x, are real numbers, then the identity of these parts can be written using binomial coefficients. This formula was given by 16th century French mathematician Francois Viette. Sine of nx equals sum from k equals 0 to n of the binomial coefficient nk times cosine of x quantity raised to the k of power times sine of x quantity raised to the n minus k power times sine of n minus k quantity times pi all over 2. Cosine of nx is equal to sum from k equals 0 to n of the binomial coefficient nk times cosine of x raised to the k of power times sine of x raised to the n minus k power times cosine of n minus k quantity times pi all over 2. In each of these two equations, the final trigonometric function equals 1 or minus 1 or 0, thus removing half the entries in each of the sums. These equations are in fact valid even for complex values of x, because both sides are entire that is, holomorphic on the whole complex plane functions of x. And two such functions that coincide on the real axis necessarily coincide everywhere. Here are the concrete instances of these equations for n equals 2 and n equals 3. Cosine of 2x equals cosine of x quantity squared plus quantity cosine of x quantity squared minus 1, which equals 2 times cosine of x squared minus 1. Sine of 2x equals 2 times sine x times cosine of x. Cosine of 3x equals cosine of x quantity cubed plus 3 times cosine of x times the quantity cosine of x quantity squared minus 1, which equals 4 cosine of x quantity cubed minus 3 cosine of x. Sine of 3x equals 3 times cosine of x quantity squared times sine of x minus sine of x quantity cubed, which equals 3 sine of x 
minus 4 times sine of x r d cubed. The right-hand side of the formula for cosine nx is, in fact, the value t sub n cosine of x of the Chebyshev polynomial t sub n a cos of x. Section 5. Failure for non-integer powers and generalization. Dumas' formula does not hold for non-integer powers. The derivation of Dumas' formula involves a complex number raised to the integer power n. If a complex number is raised to a non-integer power, the result is multiple valued. See failure of power and logarithm identities. For example, when n equals 1 half, Dumas formula gives the following results. For x equals 0, the formula gives 1 raised to the 1 half equaling 1. And for x equals 2 pi, the formula gives 1 raised to the 1 half equals minus 1. This assigns two different values for the same expression 1 raised to the 1 half. So the formula is not consistent in this case. On the other hand, the values 1 and minus 1 are both square roots of 1. More generally, if z and w are complex numbers, then cosine of z plus i sine of z raised to the w is multivalued, while cosine of wz plus i sine of wz is not. However, it is always the case that cosine of wz plus i sine of wz is one of the values of cosine of z plus i sine of z quantity raised to the w. Section 5.1 roots of complex numbers. A modest extension of the version of De Moore's formula given in this article can be used to find the nth roots of a complex number, equivalently the power of 1 over n. If z is a complex number, written in polar form as z equals r times the quantity cosine of x plus i sine of x, then the n nth roots of z are given by r to the 1 over n times the quantity cosine of x plus 2 pi k over n plus i times sine of x plus 2 pi k over n, where k varies over the integer values from 0 to n minus 1. This formula is also sometimes known as de Moore's formula. Section 6, Analogs in Other Settings. Section 6.1, Hyperbolic Trigonometry. Since cosine hyperbolic of x plus sine hyperbolic of x is equal e to the x, an analog to de Moore's formula also applies to the hyperbolic trigonometry. For all integers n, cosine hyperbolic x plus sine hyperbolic x quantity raised to the nf power equals cosine hyperbolic of nx plus sine hyperbolic of nx. If n is a rational number, but not necessarily an integer, then cosine hyperbolic of nx plus sine hyperbolic of nx will be one of the values of cosine hyperbolic x plus sine hyperbolic x quantity raised to the nth power. Section 6.2, Extension to Complex Numbers. The formula holds for any complex number z, which equals x plus i y, cosine of z plus i sine of z quantity raised to the nth power, which equals cosine of nz plus i times sine of nz, where cosine of z equals cosine of x plus i y, which equals cosine of x times cosine hyperbolic y minus i times sine of x times sine hyperbolic y, and sine of z is equal to sine of x plus i y, which equals sine of x times cosine hyperbolic y plus i times cosine x times sine hyperbolic y. Section 6.3, Quaternions. To find the roots of a quaternion, there is an analogous form of de Moore's formula. A quaternion is the in the form d plus a i hat plus b j hat plus c k hat can be represented in the form q equals k times the quantity sine of theta plus epsilon sine of theta for zero less than or equal to theta less than 2 pi in this representation. k equals the square root of d squared plus a squared plus b squared plus c squared. And the trigonometric functions are defined as cosine of theta equals d over k 
and sine of theta is equal to plus minus square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared over k. In the case that a squared plus b squared plus c squared does not equal zero, epsilon is equal to plus minus a i hat plus b j hat plus c k hat over square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. That is the unit factor. This leads to the variation of Dumas' formula q raised to the n of power equals k raised to the n of power times cosine of n theta plus epsilon of sine of n theta. Section 6.3.1. Example. To find the cube roots of q equals 1 plus i hat plus j hat plus k hat, write the quaternion in the form q equals 2 times the quantity cosine of pi over 3 plus epsilon sine of pi over 3, where epsilon equals i hat plus j hat plus k hat over square root of 3. Then the cube roots are given by cube root of q equals cube root of 2 times cosine of theta plus epsilon sine of theta. For theta equals pi over 9, 7 pi over 9, 13 pi over 9. Section 6.4, 2 by 2 matrices. Consider the following matrix A, cosine phi, sine phi, minus sine phi, cosine phi. Then, cosine phi, sine phi, minus sine phi, cosine phi, raised to the n of power equals cosine of n phi, sine of n phi, minus sine of n phi, cosine of n phi. This fact, although it can be proven in the very same way as for complex numbers, is a direct consequence of the fact that the space of matrices of type A, B, minus B, A is isomorphic to the complex plane. Section 7. References. References are included in the written form of the article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or by cross-referencing the information yourself. Section 8. External links. There is a link to a Wolfram Demonstrations project titled Demois Theorem for Trig Identities. This concludes the article Demois Formula. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 unported license. Available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa slash 3.0.